What's up, booze? Welcome back to my channel. I have a great segment for you guys today. How to dye your synthetic wig. You thought it was impossible, girlfriend, but I'm about to show you it is very possible. This is gonna be a two-part tutorial. I will show you guys how I achieved this um, basic unicorn color. And part two, I will style it for you guys. So for this tutorial, you're definitely gonna need a synthetic platinum or 613 wig. You need the brand is called Ritz. It's a fabric dye. So that's the dye that I use. I will show you guys right now. You need gloves. You need a brush if you need, and you need hot piping boiling water. Essential essential I tried the watercolor method as well it didn't it wasn't um, the color wasn't as vibrant definitely use it use a pot on a stove bring it to a boil add your dye and then dip and that's what you guys need to complete this look so let's just dive right into it I have about half or less water in the pot, brought it to a boil. The burner is set on max. Once it's brought to a boil, I add the dye in it. The less you put, the more of a pastel color you'll get. The more you put, the darker the color will be. You can do a paper towel check just to see if the color's to your liking before adding more. I'd recommend lowering the stove just a bit because while you must dip the hair as it's boiling, um, you can even use a tool that's going to help with getting the dye all over the hair. The steam is very hot and it does burn. You're going to definitely be needing a towel. It's going to get messy. Because I'm doing an ombre, I section out the hair before dipping into the dye according to where I want each color to be. So skip the sectioning part if your wig will be one color. Be careful when dipping it that it doesn't burn the hair also. So yeah, I finished dyeing this hair. So I'm going to show you guys. Like the color tips went much better. I still didn't wash it out yet with um, cold, like cold water. So I'm still like crossing my fingers because, yo, I bun up my hand doing that day just now. So I'm really, really hoping that after I wash it, the color still remains as vivid as possible. I don't mind if it fades a little bit, but I still want you to catch like the gradients of the three colors that I used. So this is it. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna brush it out. I hope it suits me. You don't sound like it's so pretty. It's so so pretty. So it's like a dark blue at the top, and it goes into the. I love this part. How it goes into the purple, so beautiful, and then it goes into the pink. So right now I'm just gonna wash it out with cold water just to um, take out any excess color. I'm not gonna show that part, and it. I told you guys to use gloves. I didn't even take my own advice. As you can see, my hand is purple like semi turn into Barney. I'm gonna touch up Barney and some color just start. Please use gloves or you end up like this. So don't do that mistake. Um, for the most part, really and truly, the, the pink and the blue took very well. The purple was really running, but like I still didn't lose much color. I didn't rinse it with any soap, just rinse out till the water ran clear. So as you can see, it still looks the same. Like if you if you can't afford it, right? My whole model is like trying to just economize with what you have and there it's you know, you want a color but you don't have the funds to buy a 613 wig because honey those bundles and those 613 wigs they are not cheap at all so this is a very um economical way to have your cake and eat it too and have fun with it i'll be letting it air dry overnight um, which you can use to get out the same you guys can if you have clorox it's like a type of bleach i'm trying to see if i have no i don't i don't it's in the kitchen but Clorox, you can get it at like the dollar store. That works very well. You might have to spray it more than once and rinse it out, but it does take out the stains from your bowl. It goes back to being as normal. So you can use that to take out stains over your stove. As my mom likes to say, clean it while it's hot. 
but I'm listening. I'm taking heat, mommy. I'm listening. I hope you're watching. I'm taking heat. So I'm gonna go clean that up because I'm too wrong for ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? All right. So there you have it, guys. That is how you dye a synthetic wig. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Looking for part two and how to curl it.